This will be the third and last video, at least for now, on how to take various classes right from your computer, the other two being focused on math and engineering. As always, the link you're looking for is in the description if you just want to get started, but I want to provide some guidance to help you guys out. Now, especially in the beginning, physics classes come in various levels. Whether you begin in high school or college, everyone starts with mechanics. This includes vectors, projectile motion, forces, energy, momentum, and a few other topics. A basic high school physics class will just use algebra. Certain AP classes will go into more depth, but also use mostly algebra. Then another level of AP classes, as well as college level physics, will go into even more depth, but also use calculus. On the page I made, I put physics one mechanics first, but gave three options for lectures. There's Khan Academy, which is probably the easiest to follow and really doesn't use much calculus. If you're just trying to learn high school level physics or understand a concept, these are a great resource. I provided a second lecture that is on a similar level, and calculus is talked about but not used too much. Then there's the college level physics course from MIT. If you're going into engineering or physics or just want a challenge, this lecture series is what you're looking for, assuming you've taken calculus because it is used extensively. This lecture, as with many I've included on this page, is taught by Walter Lewin, who you might recognize just from this thumbnail, which is a very popular video of his here on YouTube. But all the lectures I included here for mechanics teach mostly the same stuff, it's just the difficulty and depth can be a bit different. Then you'll notice I included a textbook and some practice problems. For physics it was a little hard to find practice problems for the more advanced classes, but I included what I could. The next class is electricity and magnetism. In many high school classes this is taught right after mechanics, you do them all in the same year. In college or certain AP courses, it's its own class. Again, I gave you multiple options. You can choose Khan Academy, which is the same playlist as Mechanics. You just start at lecture 106, which the link will take you to. Then there's the second lecture of a similar level, although it does involve some calculus, and the MIT lecture, again by Walter Lewin, with lots of calculus. Then this next part's not quite as straightforward. Within even high school physics, there are more concepts you go through fairly quickly, such as fluids, optics, waves, and thermodynamics, to name a few. It's a little hard to categorize this, but MIT does have a vibrations and waves class taught by that same professor, which is very involved and calculus based. This goes beyond what any high school physics class covers though, even AP level. Then Khan Academy within their physics lecture series goes over fluids, waves, thermodynamics, and so on. These are what you would learn in a high school class, so it's all there, but just a little less organized. Then the rest of the physics classes are mostly only taken by physics majors. Classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, and statistical mechanics are three very important classes for physics majors. However, it's not quite that simple when it comes to who takes what. For example, computer and electrical engineers will take one quantum mechanics course. But at least from what I've seen, they don't take any more, whereas physics majors do. Then I want to emphasize that for many engineering disciplines, you learn more physics topics than mechanics, electricity, magnetism, and vibrations and waves. It's just usually taught within your own engineering classes. For example, at my school you see physics majors have to take this one thermal physics class, which includes statistical mechanics, which I included on the website. And only physics majors take this. If we go to the mechanical engineering curriculum, you'll see they take two thermodynamics classes. So yeah, a lot of the same topics are covered compared to thermal physics, but they are not the same classes and you won't see physics majors take these two. Another example is electrical engineers took a class called electromagnetic waves and no other majors took this one. Physics majors took a class called electromagnetic fields and waves. Honestly, a lot of the same topics, but there were differences. So yes, I only covered around three physics classes that engineers take, and that's because they kind of stopped there, but they really learn more physics topics in their own engineering classes later on. Overall, if you're in high school, the Khan Academy lectures should honestly be everything you need. If you want a more rigorous class with calculus, try the MIT lectures. As always, I'll try to add more classes later on as I find them. For example, I don't have relativity on there right now, but that is something I want to get. And if you have any suggestions, please comment them down below. And I'm going to end that video there. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join the Major Prep Facebook group. And I'll see you all in the next video.